one on this one is yeah. Dua made in Tahajjud is like an arrow that does not miss its target Dua made in Tahajjud is like an arrow that does not miss its target The reason for that is because Tahajjud is the time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down to the lowest heaven Yeah, at night time At night time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down to the lowest heaven and He makes a plea, He asks who are those that are awake right now who are asking from me? Where are those people? Where are those of my servants that are making dua for me? And Allah comes down at this time. Now the question might come up, why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come down at this time? Why at night? night? The reason why is because everyone's sleeping. Majority of the if everyone is sleeping, everyone is in bed, that means very less people are outside. When very less people are outside doing activities, that means that there are less people doing sin. The second reason why this time, the last, last moment, the last portion of the night, the reason why it's so virtuous is because it's the most hardest as well. It's the most hardest in a sense that a person has to wake up from his deep sleep, from his warm uh, duvet, from his hot bed. He has to wake up, he has to get, do, do wudu. After doing wudu, he has to stand up while you know, everyone else is sleeping. And that Allah sees that dedication, Allah sees that sacrifice. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him the reward that he wants and gives him what he wants. So if there is anything that you want in life, you pray the hajjud consistently, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it to you. That's why Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he first entered Medina, one of his first advice to the people of Medina was, during the day, give charity and at night, pray the hajjud. During the day, socialize with people and at night, socialize with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep the day for the people and keep the night for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You feel good spirituality where you're connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, if you want anything, if you need anything, you ask Allah at the hajjud time, Allah will provide you. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would on many occasions pray eight rakats of the hajjud. On, mo- uh, on most of, mo- majority of the hadith, Prove that Prophet used to pray eight rakats of the Hajjud in two two units.